Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Nurse Judy's Storytime. So I promised you two books today. So my second book today, I'm going to get right started on. It is The Little Engine That Could. Do you know this book has been around for 60 years? That's a long time. And it's a really good story. It's a story that never, never gets old. So let's get started with The Little Engine That Could. The Little Engine That Could. There's a picture of the little engine right there. Wow. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding, dong, ding, dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. And there she is. There's our little train. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There you go. Look at that train full of all those wonderful, wonderful things. You see them? Oh, my God. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobs, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives. There were picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. Look at all that stuff that train is carrying. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats wow toys and meal stuff that's pretty cool that sounds like a pretty important train to me what do you think oh my goodness the little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain she puffed along merrily then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels wouldn't turn. What do you think happened? She just stopped. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So all the toys and toys cried out together. Look at that. Stop train and everybody's kind of wondering what's going on and there's this shiny brand new train you think the shiny new train will help them that would be really really nice please shiny new engine won't you please pull our train over the mountain our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to pay, play with or good food to eat unless you help us you see they're asking that shiny shiny train if they'll pull them over the mountain hmm. there's the face on the shiny red train you think he's thinking you think he's thinking about maybe giving him a hand maybe he's going to help but the shiny new engine snorted I pull you? I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. 
My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. Wow. And there he goes. He's leaving our little train behind, isn't he? And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they're not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. You see, there's everybody a little bit worried, but then here comes this great big engine, and maybe he'll help them. Hmm, they haven't asked him yet, but do you think he has a nice face? Do you think he'll help him over the mountain? Let's see what happens. The little toy clown waved his big flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls... on the other side, won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. And there they are, and they're, they're asking this big train for some help to get them across the mountain to the boys and girls on the other side. But the big, strong engine bellowed, I'm a freight train. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. Wow, and look at that. He left them. He left them. The engine puffed off indignantly to the roadhouse. The little train and the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little clown. The freight engine is not the only in the one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our little train is so little, perhaps he can help us. Here comes the old train. Oh, he does look old, doesn't he? And tired. Hmm. I wonder if he'd have the energy to help pull the little train over the mountain. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the old rusty engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Everybody's looking sad again. And off he went to the roadhouse to rest. And off he rumbled to the roadhouse chugging 
I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed, the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, Here's another engine coming. A little blue engine. A very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug-chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. Here they are cheering, hoping. She looks very cheerful that maybe she'll help them get across the mountain to take everything to the boys and girls on the other side. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. Are and they're asking, they're asking the little blue engine if she can help them. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food to eat. She really is a kind train, I think. And they wouldn't have that food to eat unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and she pulled and she pulled and she tugged slowly. And slowly, slowly, they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Pulling that little train. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster and faster and faster and faster. The little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city below. There they are at the very top of the mountain. Look at what she did! Hooray! Hooray! cried the funny little clown and all the toys and dolls. Toys and dolls. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. Oh, they are so happy she helped them. What an awesome little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed slowly, steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. There she's coming back down the mountain. Oh my gosh. She did it, didn't she? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So this story has something really, really, really cool. This is about perseverance, believing in yourself, not giving up, helping others. Yeah. 
So instead of her saying, like all the other engines, I can't help you. I did this, 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 and this, and I can't help you because, because I do this. I don't do that. Well, the little blue train, she moved trains around. That's all she ever did. She'd never gone anywhere out of the railroad yard. And yet she was willing to help the little train over the mountain to the boys and girls. And by saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, before she knew it, she did. And then on the way down, she just kept confirming that, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And she did it. What an awesome, awesome story. So boys and girls, when you think maybe you can't do something, maybe sometimes you just need to try a little bit harder and say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And before you know it, you're going to be saying, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And you will have done it and you will be happy and celebrating and jumping up and down and giving high fives to everybody around because you did something that you thought maybe you couldn't do, just like the little engine that could. Boys and girls, thank you as always so much for joining me today for story time. I had such a nice time with you. I hope you enjoyed your time with me too. And mom and dads, please, Share the time with your kids. Listen to a story. It's a great time to just cuddle. Leave the reading to me. Just listen, relax, cuddle your kid a little bit closer and have some snuggle time. And you're not having to turn the page as I am. Welcome to Nurse Judy Storytime. Welcome to the group on Facebook. I really hope you enjoy it. Please, please subscribe, like, share. Get the word out there that I'm here. Um, and if you have... Uh, recommendations or books that you want me to read, please comment below. Let me know that you're out there because it's me in a room with a camera right there that says you are and I'm glad you are because you matter and you're important to me and we all need to hear that sometimes. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.